dear students, we are on the CC Gurukul lecture and we are in the series of the electronic circuit, where we have discussed the many components which are used in development of the electronic gadgets. So, uh, today's topic is also the one of, in today's topic we will also discuss the one of the important circuit uh, which uses the fuses. So, fuse which is a very important component in electronic circuit, uh, we will put so that we can, uh, we can flow the current or we can protect the circuit from the over current or overload and ensure the production of the circuit. So, we discuss what is the fuses, how it works, what is the principle behind the fuse development and what are the applications of the fuse, moreover what are, what are the disadvantages, how it is different from the braking system and moreover we discuss the types of the fuses. So, we start with the definition then what is the fuse, basically fuse is an electronic mechanical or the mechanical device which used to protect the circuit from the over current overload and ensure the production of the circuit. So, today's topic we will discuss the fuse. This is the fuse you see on the screen that we are having a many fuses and there are a different type of the fuses. So, what is the fuses? Fuse is an electric, electronic or mechanical device which is used to protect the circuit from the, from the over current overload and ensure the protection of the circuit. So, electric fuse was invented by the Thomas Alva Edison in 1890, which protect the device, which protect the circuit, circuit to damage. And uh, when the circuit having a over current or over uh, voltage, then the, then the uh, fuse will damage or the circuit will protect. So, there are the many types of fuses, but the function of all these fuses is the same. In this uh, uh, presentation, we will discuss the construction, working and operation with its application in the various electronic and electric system. You see, this is the schematic diagram of the fuse. If we say an ANSI, triple E standards, then we use the uh, fuse by box and having a line. Next is the, uh, this is the IEC standard, we are use this, this uh, schematic, uh, this is a symbol, this is a symbol we use to represent the circuit. Next is the IEEE ANSI standard. Now, now you see old symbol we use. Uh, like this, you see it on the bottom. So, presently we use this, uh, the fuse is the first one, we use uh, to just show the symbol of the fuse. So, electrical fuse is a safety device that operates to provide the protection against the overflow of the current in the electric circuit. So, it is an important component of an electrical fuse is a metal wire or the strip that me that melts when excess current flows through it and it will protect the device to damage. So, in the fuse we use the metal wire or we use the strip that melts when we just get the excess flow of current in the circuit. So, it helps to protect the device by stopping or entrapping the current. So, in this uh, presentation, we will discuss the working principle uh, behind this uh, and what is how we use, how, how they function in a electronic devices. So, mostly uh, the mostly elements like zinc, aluminum, copper or silver are used for the construction of the fuses. We use this wire, so zinc, aluminum and copper or silver wire just to make to, for the construction of the fuses and they are connected in a series with a equipment need to be protected or or a circuit. Direct we can use or we can make it by using a uh, cavity and then we put this wire. The construction of the fuse is very simple. Typically what we have, we have the number one is the fuse element. Fuse element basically is a metallic wire that melts when subjected to excessive amount of the current. Next, this element uh, wire is in the body that is known as a fuse body. The fuse element is en enclosed by a fuse body and the fuse caps terminals you see on the left, you see on the diagram that this is the 
this diagram represents the fuse, uh, uh, how the fuse is constructed. So, first we have the uh, fuse element that is in between that and after that it is encapsulated in the body that is a fuse body. Now, we have the fuse cap or the terminals that is on both the side and these end metallic terminals of the fuse that connect with the wire. Now, next is the fusible link if we use in some cases that a wire designed to melt quickly for the circuit interruption. So, this is the schematic diagram of the construction of the fuse. Now, uh, we also have the blow vertic, blow vent and in the some cases not in every cases a vent to release the pressure in high current or the high voltage fuses. These we will use in the various type of the fuse. Uh, fuse when we will discuss. Now, how we construct and how it work. So, a general fuse consists of a low resistance metallic wire that enclosed in the non uh, non combustible uh, material uh, we having a and it is used to connect and install in the series uh, with the circuit and device which needs to be protected from the short circuit and over current otherwise will flow in the uh, devices. So, electric appliances may be damaged in case of absence of the fuse and the circuit breaker as they are unable to handle the excess current according to their rating limits. So, we use the uh, fuse, uh, uh, fuse to protect the uh, electronic devices. The working principle of the fuse is based upon the heating effect of a current. Uh, heating effect, heating effect of a current whenever a short circuit over the current or mismatch the load connection occurs, then the thin wire inside the fuse melts. And because of the heat generated by the heavy current flowing through it, this wire melts and this wire melt then the circuit will break and it will uh, protect the devices. So, the principle behind the construction of the fuse is the heating effect of the current in which over current or the mismatch load connection occurs when the thin wire inside the fuse melts and why it is melt because of the heat generated by the heavy current flowing through it. So, therefore, if disconnects the power supply from the connected devices and in this the connection will break. So, when the when the wire in the fuse melts, it will disconnect the power supply from the connected system and will protect the device. In normal operation of the circuit fuse wire is just a very low resistance component and does not affect the normal operation of the system connected to the power supply. So, you see on the screen that we are having a fuse system and the upper side you see the fuse is connected you see the symbol as the sinusoidal curve is defined here the battery is connected normal operation is defined load and switches is there. When there is a short circuit on the switches then you see that fuse will break that the wire will melt and because of the over current. And in this manner, this wire will protect the other components of the circuit. So, we use this for the construction of the electronic gadget. So, fuse is a very important uh, component in the electronic circuit to protect it from the uh, over current damage. Over, over current flowing damage. So, uh, working principle of the electric fuse, we have to understand the working principle behind the electric fuse. The two critical concept should be kept in mind. First, first concept is the current flows in the loop. Number two, heating effect of the current. Number one, current flows in the loop means electric current can flow through a conductor only when the circuit formed in circuit form is complete. If there is a break in the loop, electric charges cannot flow through it. So, first uh, thing is that the electric current can flow through the conductor only when the circuit formed is complete. This is also how switches operate. 
For example, when we put on the light switch at the home, the lights come on because if we have just completed the circuit allowing the charges from the power to flow through the power of our lights. So, when the current passes through a conductor, the different electrical component of the circuit like devices attached or even the wire itself offer the resistance to the current flow. So, the work done to overcome this resistance present itself in the form of the heat. So, this is a simple explanation of the heat effect of the current. So, if we talk about the principle because it is a heat effect uh, depend upon the heat effect. So, we primarily use an electric fuse is to protect electrical equipment from the excessive current and to prevent the short circuit or the mismatch loads. So, electric electrical fuses plays the role of the miniature circuit breakers. So, apart from protecting equipment, they are also used as a safety measures to prevent any safety hazards to the human. So, the fuse wire in an electric fuse is selected in such a way so that it does not face any damage when the normally stimulated amount of the current flows through the circuit otherwise it will not work properly. So, we have to decide that the at what temperature it will work. So, the current flow through the, so uh, under the normal condition the fuse wire is a part of the circuitry contributing to the complete loop for charges to flow through it. So, uh, when we select the wire. So, we have to keep that the, in the normal condition the fuse wire is a part of the circuitry contributing to the complete loop for charges. So, however, when an excessive amount of current flow through the fuse wire, heating effect of the current causes the fuse wire to melt and this because the fuse wire is chosen such that it has a low melting point and this causes the loop to break thereby stopping the flow of charges in the circuit. So, it is important to select a fuse that is properly specified for the circuit in consideration. If we take an example, so for example, if the fuse that is used is underrated, underrated then it will fail even under the normal current condition unnecessarily breaking the circuit loop. So, sometimes we have to select. So, it is, it is, so if it is overrated then it will not break to the circuit when uh, required and cause the equipment damage and failure and may even present itself as a safety hazard. So, to we have to keep the mind to select the fuse number one, the fuse that is used is uh, uh, not underrated or not over uh, rated. Otherwise, the circuit will not compre com complete in the underrated or if it is over rated, or over, uh, rated then it will not uh, melt at the at the uh, when the current is high. So, we have to keep in mind so to both the cases and it will not break the circuit when required and cause the equipment damage and failure and may even present itself as a safety hazard. So, what is the function of the fuse? Now, we discuss how the fuse work. Basically, in the field of electrical engineering, a fuse is a device that provides the over current protection to the functional electrical circuit. So, we have listed a few major functions of the fuses. How it works? What are the functions? Number one, it acts as a barrier between the electric circuit and the human body. Number two, it prevents the device failure due to the faulty circuit operation. Number three, fuse prevents short circuits. Number four, prevents fuse prevents overload and blackouts. Fuse uh, prevents damage that is caused due to mismatched load. 
next uh, important function is the marking on the fuse carry information such as ampere rating voltage rating and interruption rating these are the function parameters to operate the fuse in a circuit what is the package packaging size how we pack this fuse as we know that fuse are of the two type that we will discuss later and uh, that is ac and dc fuse and they are little bit different in the packing type the same way the different application requires different packages to be used accurately in the circuit it depends upon the application where we are using the uh, fuse so on the basis of that we package the fuse so another factor uh, and parameters are making temperature derating voltage drop and the speed these are the other factors just for the packaging of the uh, packaging of the fuses now next question is how to select proper rating size of the fuse how we select here we have some a one of the examples and how we can select while selecting the proper fuse and its rated size for the electrical appliances is based upon the different factors and the different environment but the following basic formula how we choose the right size of the fuse we just take the formula fuse rating is equal to power divided by voltage into 1.25 for example we have to find the right size of the fuse of the 10 ampere two pin socket then what we do you see on the screen that we are having the 1000 watt divided by 2 230 volt into 1.25 it means 5.4 ampere uh, in the above example 1 kilowatt is the uh, is the power rating uh, which can be controlled through the two pin socket and and main supply and uh, voltage uh, is a single phase that is 230 volt ac or 120 and the if we talk about the ac in the us but uh, here we just define that 5.4 ampere but uh, but we should go for the maximum that is a 6 ampere 5.4 means 6 ampere we have fuse rating instead of the 5.4 for the safe and reliable operation of the circuit now what are the characteristics of the fuses so following uh, uh, crucial factors need to be taken into the account while choosing the appropriate fuses so first is the voltage rating voltage rating are taken into consideration for the environmental and the circuit safety fuse specification therefore include the highest voltage that the fuse is capable of receiving means we select the uh, fuse so that it can it have a capability to just operate at the highest voltage so we keep it in mind when we select the next is the current rating this represent the current carrying capacity of the fuse under the standard temperature and the condition only the fuse will get damaged by the rapid rise of rise in the current so current means uh, uh, current circuit uh, 75% of the current rating of the fuse so uh, uh, i square t value of the fuse the product of the square of the current in the circuit should be less than that of the i square t value of the device temperatures also play important role so the operating temperature of the fuse is directly proportional to its current capacity another characteristic is the response characteristics it refers to how a fuse behaves in response to over current conditions so common response characteristics for the fuse include like the quick acting time delay medium time delay very fast acting so these are some of the response characteristics of the fuse in which we have the quick acting time delay medium time delay or the fast uh, time uh, acting so next is the packaging size which is also the one of the parameter so the 
packaging size of the fuse refers to the physical dimension and the shape of the fuse at it, as it is required. So, it is essential when selecting the fuse for a particular application to ensure that it fits the correctly or the functions properly. Right. So, these are the basic uh, uh, points or basic characteristics we use for the development of the fuse. So, these fuse are uh, uh, constructed in such a manner so that it can protect the device for the damage. So, now we discuss the various types of the fuses. There are different type of fuses are available in the market and they are classified on the basis of the dis different aspects. But mainly the fuses can be divided into the category which is based on the input supply. Input supply means we what we are supplying means we are using the AC current or we are using the DC current. So, uh, the category of dividing the fuses are on the basis of the input supply are the AC fuses and number 2 is the DC fuses. So, we categorize the fuses in, into the two part which is on the basis of the input supply number 1 AC fuses, number 2 DC fuses. Fuses can also be characterized based upon the one time or the multiple operations. So, on the basis of that we define the type of fuses. So, uh, so the fuses are DC fuses and the AC fuses you can divide. Now, the AC fuses also have the many forms that you can see on the screen. There are the many many form here uh, which can be characterized. After that uh, we are having a cartridge type of uh, LV fuse which is more generally used. It is also having the many types like link type fuse, D type fuse, blade type of fuse, bolted type of fuse that we will discuss and we will uh, continue with the further explanation of these fuses. So, first what is the DC or what are what is the uh, AC fuses? DC fuses is an important component designed for the direct current electrical system and it is used to provide the protection against the over current situations. DC fuses are designed to handle the unique characteristics of the DC current and they are constructed with the material that are suitable for the interrupting DC current. Moreover, they typical consist of the fusible element made of a material that melts or vaporizes when subjected to excessive current flow. So, in DC we can construct DC fuses are commonly used in the various DC electrical system. So, which includes the automotive and marine solar power battery charging and industrial application. Moreover, they provide the critical protection to the equipment and wiring in these systems. So, these DC fuses are having a many application in the various fields like battery charging, like industrial application, like marine, the marine who use the DC electrical so DC fuses. DC fuses faces the distinct challenges as uh, DC fuses are available in a larger size and have a constant value over the 0 volt. So, deactivating and removing of the circuit can be a little more difficult. There is a potential that an electric arc will form uh, between the melting wires in order to eliminate this a few electrodes are placed further apart. So, these are the these are the DC fuses, DC fuses having a various challenges as DC fuses are available in the larger size and have a constant value over the 0 volt. So, deactivating and removing the circuit can be a little more difficult in this case. So, there are the potential that an electric arc will form between the melting wire. So, in order to eliminate a few electrodes are placed further apart. Sometimes we use the strips in case of the wire. So, AC fuses next type is the AC fuses. What are the AC fuses? AC fuses are the important component in the 
alternating current circuit and most of the time we are using the alternating circuit so we use the ac fuses and it helps to protect the circuit from the over current condition like unlike the dc fuses ac fuses are made to interrupt the flow of alternating current which periodically changes so these are made from the element designed to melt or vaporize when subjected to the excessive current flow so comparing the ac and dc fuses side by side ac fuse is a smaller and oscillates between the 50 or 60 times per second from the lowest to the highest so cons consequently the possibility of an electric arc forming between the melting wire is eliminated so they are therefore be pack, packed in a small site a small sizes so ac fuses are divided into the low voltage and the high voltage fuses that we will discuss further the types of the ac fuses we will further uh, discuss in the next lecture thank you very much